Hey there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. First and foremost, if none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. Everybody keeps asking about um, personal readings. Yes, I am doing them, but they're just donation based. So if you have a donation that you can make, awesome. If not, that's fine too. The email's in the description box below. We're going to start with the Oracle, um, the Starseed Oracle. I'm going to pull one. We're going to read it from the book. And then I'm going to get, um, what is that? You get a couple cards from the Light Seers Tarot. And we're going to wrap up with a positive affirmation. So let's get into it. Thank you so much for Gemini. You guys have Radon Adam, Master Number 33. I can dig that. Let's see what it says. Radon Adam. Symbolism, autonomy, self-fulfillment, and non-reaction. Elements, light and air. Crystals, moldavite and meteorite. Chakras, all. Wow. Uh, planets, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, and Planet X. Zodiac signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Libra. It is Libra season. Intensely activating this image of the radon atom transmits an energetic radiation that quickens light throughout the entire body, delivering the radiation at etheric levels that the body can use and process without the harm or injury associated with its physical properties. One of the noble gases, radon, is a stable monoatomic chemical possessing its total electron capacity in its outermost shell encouraging autonomy and self-fulfillment as well as detachment from unhealthy situations through non-reaction. It's actually really funny. I know I don't usually talk about my TikTok on here. I do completely different content on my YouTube and from my TikTok. Um, but I did just do a self-empowerment um, video and I, I mentioned when somebody tries us today, we are not going to be reactive. And I decided to try to make it funny. I said, She-Hulk is going to stop and smell the fucking roses. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. Coming with the heart instead of all that fire. All right. So we are, what is that? <sighs> Calming our tempers or... I think it's faster to listen and slower to speak. Did you just see that orb shoot across? That was super fast. I'm surprised I even caught that. Did you get the other one too? You got to get both of them, baby. Use the same bag for both boxes, please. What else do we have for Gemini? Please and thank you, spirit. Nine of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Um, so if you made a vision board or if you wrote down some plans or made a list or anything like that, I feel like that's exactly what you're receiving. You sat there and you really thought about where do I want to go? What do I want to do from here? With your worth and value in mind, that is the Queen of Pentacles I'm waving around. Beautiful. You know your worth, you know your value. Where are you going to take it? Where are you going to go with that? And it's becoming physical. Look at that. Pentacle, pentacle. You're manifesting very quickly what you're thinking of, so um, make sure you're staying positive at this time. Some of you are absolutely going places. You have a lot of potential energy. It's just a matter of putting that energy into motion. Wow, somebody could be very sciencey. I love it. Freaking love it. What else do I have here for Gemini? Please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, that card jumped so high. Four swords. Yep. Some of you have come out of a healing process. You may or may not be ready to talk about it, which doesn't, it's neither here nor there. But you're coming out of a healing process, okay? Some of you may have actually had some kind of um, surgery done. I just heard outpatient. It could have been outpatient surgery. Um, 
but it looks like you're healing just fine. You're nice and easy, being gentle, gentle on yourself as much as you can, because not everybody's got somebody to help them bounce back from stuff like that, right? But you are definitely going to be back on your feet again. So in terms of this action actions that need to be taken this is again a lot of let me just sit down and who saw right non-reactive i think because you're in a calmer state you're also going to be receiving calmer energy we can only have as much momentum as we have inertial force right force comes in touches that object transfers its energy that object can only move as much as the force provided it movement does that make sense and when you're not showing up when you're not moving the way you used to when you're not budging when you're just standing still remaining calm let me give you a prime example so my youngest is autistic when I, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't make him stop and like, what am I doing? Assess what he's doing. No, not even a little bit. So the panicking or the getting loud. No, 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 no. It does nothing. What? It does nothing. What? Not you. Oh. <laughs> what? See, not it works for them, but not for him. So like, and I know he came into my life to teach me this exact lesson. Woosa, bitch. Woosa. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see what um, what they want to say about this Ace of Wands. And again, this is newness, new passion. I feel like there's a lot of energy that you have because you're not giving it in these other situations. Right? So you still have the potential energy, but instead of giving it to toxic people, toxic situations, you are non-reactive to those situations. Now you have all this energy for self-fulfillment. Self. Independence. I'm literally liking this. Ace of Wands, please. From the Nine of Wands to the Ace, you shall no longer have my energy. You're literally being reborn as a phoenix here. Um, so you're definitely going to be a part of the collective that is closing out major cycles. This is going to just be one of the cycles that you specifically are going through or maybe somebody around you is but yeah because it's too wounded it's too hurtful it's you have nothing at the end of the day You're like i have no energy i'm standing yes but i promise you the moment i sit down i'm falling asleep but when you don't give all those negative situations that reaction you still have all that potential energy at the end of the day you're not as worn out you're not as stressed you're not as depressed you're not as dark circles under the eyes um it's easier to fall asleep at night because you're not letting these things bother you like they used to it takes a lot to to really master that in a bo inner buddha um but it is actually a really nice place to be a really nice place to be yeah um you know one thing that can actually help especially if you're like just by yourself if you have conversations to yourself or even if you're having a conversation with somebody else record it just knowing that you're being recorded you're gonna sound different you're gonna move different you're gonna not be as reactive that's a nice one to, to start for those of you guys that you might be newer to this. Or again, this is all just advice that you can pass on to somebody else. If this is someone around you and not you per se. Because sometimes that's how these readings be working. <laughs> there is a lot of fire here though, Gemini. A lot of fire. Pentacles, swords. We just don't have the cups. So it's getting more into that heart, which is self-fulfillment but I think your heart was recently hurt and that's why you're reactive in the first fucking place. So it makes sense. I mean, I get it. It's physics, bitch. 
but we do have to get back into the heart into the yeah because you have to have all the elements and the ethers and your connection to the divine in order to create which is exactly what we're here to do the eight of cups the seven of swords walking away from the need to always be right what the fuck we are not dialing emergency services I don't know. Nobody talked to her? Oh, you did? You just asked for the time? Anyways. The fool. Letting it go. Letting go of what you can. Some of you guys are quietly getting away. You're not trying to make a scene. Non-reactive. Okay. All right. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Yep, I told you. This is you guys wrapping up a cycle. Or some of you guys, this is the cycle that you're working on right now. And it's going to lead you towards a beautiful manifestation here. This is gorgeous. We have uh, Scorpio. No. That is the second time you've weaseled your way into a reading, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Taurus. And that's it. Yeah, Scorpio was not supposed to be in there. They, they just did the same thing for Taurus, too. That was wild. It felt weird then. It feels weird now. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. Hey, baby. Did you come to say hi to the Geminis? This is Hippo. Newest member of our family. Yeah, a little rescue cat. He was rescued by a fire hall, and um, now every time we eat, he's like, where's mine? Where's mine? Because that's what he knows. That's what he survived on for a while. Positive affirmation for Gemini. Please and thank you. Positive affirmation for Gemini. We have move. It is stagnant, my dear, this energy you are carrying. It feels stuck within you, just sitting there, deep in your belly, resting upon your shoulders, etched across the lines of your face, like an old rusty gate that simply won't open. But notice, my love, how easily the gate begins to work again when it is oiled and painted anew, awoken from its dormant position. When it is simply moved again, you are no different, dear one. You, too, simply need to move. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps who it needs to. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.